friends back again today with another awesome tutorial you guys have been asking about a lot today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five awesome freeze frame effects now this is probably one of the most common effect that you see in a lot of music videos so I'm gonna show you guys some ways that you can spice this up make this really awesome really creative put your own personal touch to this you guys might have seen this effect throughout a lot of the AWGE videos Playboy Cardi ASAP Rocky I've talked about them in a lot of different videos and real quick before we do start this tutorial guys if you guys are new here consider subscribing joining the community we have regular tutorials we have music videos we have videos that's gonna help take you guys to the next level also i do want to mention before this tutorial we have three new packs on the website mediamonopoly.co link down in the description you guys have been asking me a lot recently about pricing about contracts what i did is i made a bunch of awesome contracts templates info for you guys i put them all into one pack business essentials pack there's also a deluxe version which includes my new creator pack which is the creator gold pack it gives you guys five lets seven awesome presets so if you guys are looking for some new effects or if you guys are just starting out check it out creator preset bundle is going to give you guys a bunch of stuff you can throw into Premiere here to start out. Anyways guys, let's get right into this tutorial. So we're gonna start out and I'm going to show you guys how to just create the basic freeze frame transition. So to do this, we're gonna start out on this clip that we wanna transition into. We're gonna go ahead and start at the very beginning. Go ahead and click Control Alt just to zoom in a bit. Now click over one frame. So to do this, just click on your right arrow key once, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and click Control K. So we just cut one frame out of that next clip. I'm gonna hold down Alt on my keyboard now. And I'm going to drag up as I'm holding alt just like that so we made a duplication of one frame of the next clip that we are going to transition into so pretty simple guys now all you need to do is just right click on that duplication and we're gonna go to add frame hold just like that now once you've done that just take the edge and just drag it out like this and if you go ahead and play this you're gonna see that this is a frozen frame so you can scrub through here and it's frozen in time just like that so you can adjust it however you want now what we're gonna do is we're going to take that freeze frame that we just kind of dragged out like that and we're just gonna move it so that the end of it starts at the beginning of the clip we're transitioning into so it should look like this play it stops and then plays just like that now all we need to do guys is just cut away the background and it's gonna look really cool once it's all done so very simple like I said you guys can always adjust how long you want the freeze frame to take place let's click on our duplicated freeze frame right there and then we're gonna click on this arrow right there and just go to effects If you guys are working in the effects tab it might be over here somewhere and we're just going to search up for a simple for a simple little crop effect so search for crop and then take that effect and place it on your freeze frame just like that all right, so now let's click on effect controls and then we're gonna go down and find that crop that we just placed right there. So pretty simple, like I said. Now we're gonna click this little free draw bezier tool and we're just going to click on our person like that. And then we're going to click the squiggly key on our keyboard just to make this full screen so it's a little bit easier to crop. So click the squiggly key. It's to the left of the one key on your keyboard. It does that, just make sure you're clicked on this window and then full screen it like that. And now we're just gonna make a rough little outline around our character that we want this transition to happen. And you don't have to do this with just people, you can do this with objects in your scene. So there's a lot of flexibility you have with this and it doesn't have to be the most perfect cutout because we are gonna change some settings just to make this a little bit more interesting. Now, like I said, this is just the simple basic freeze frame transition. I talked about this before. If you guys already know how to do this, just skip ahead in the video to where I talk about the more creative stuff. So let's click off that and we're gonna go back into our effect controls over here on the left. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this box that says inverted and we're going to make left 100% so what we did is we actually just cut away all of the background and we just have this left in now you can click on that clip and you can click this button here that says mask one to highlight the mask again and you could always just go in and just make some easy little adjustments and then what we're gonna do just to blend this in better is click on that freeze frame go up to your effect control options and then we're going to just bump up this mask feather a tiny bit and what that is gonna do is just kind of blend the edges a little bit just like that you're gonna see it's a little bit more blurry a little bit more blended instead of that rough edge that it looks like it was really cut out so that's gonna make it blend a bit and then we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to adjust a little bit more let's go ahead and reshow our bottom layer and then play that out and that's what it looks like now this is a little bit too cloudy so I'm just gonna bump down the feather a tiny bit some people might want it a little bit longer some people might want it only a few frames kind of like that where it just pops in just a cool little thing instead of just a rough cut it really just draws the attention of the viewers to the spot that you want the attention to be just like that so that's the simple freeze frame guys like I said super easy now we're gonna to go ahead and show you some creative stuff that we can
can do with this so let's go ahead and make another freeze frame if you guys were having trouble catching on the first time we're going to go ahead and do it this time again so click right arrow once to move one frame and then Control k now hold down alt drag that frame up to duplicate it and then we're going to right click the frame and then go to add frame hold and then drag that out now scrub along here see if it's see if it worked and it did so we're all good to go now let's just drag that back there all right so we have the next freeze frame set up just like this now let's go ahead and do the same thing let's go ahead and drag the crop over and then let's go ahead and just draw that mask all right so we got this part masked out let's go ahead and unfull screen that come back over to our effect controls again we're going to click that inverted button again and then we're just going to make left 100 so we got the next freeze frame ready a little rough around the edges so let's go back into our options and our effect controls and just bump up that mask feather a little bit like that and another little trick you guys can use is if it's still kind of bright around the edges you could just drop down the mask expansion just like that and that's perfect we got the next freeze frame all ready to go so now here's the first little tip i'm going to give you guys this one is the glow flicker freeze frame transition so pretty simple what i'm going to do is just add a glow effect on here and just make it flicker and now instead of having you just draw the attention it's really going to snap the attention there it's really going to blink it's really going to pop out and it's a cool thing to add on to the freeze frame if you guys do want the glow and flicker effects there's a few ways you can go about it you can either buy some plugins from either red giant sapphire stuff like that usually pretty expensive if you guys do want a cheaper option check out my packs like i said effects pack 2.0 has a glow effect in there it also has a flicker effect in there made by me as do have that max novak 2.0 pack all you need to do is just do the same thing hold down alt duplicate that freeze frame and then just drag that glow effect onto the duplication just like that now what you guys can do is come over to your basic correction just bump up the exposure just like that so you have a nice little glow so let's put the flicker there and we got some nice little glow and flickering going on there so that's how you can do the glow flicker one you can also couple that in with the sound effect pretty simple i have a free sound effects pack on my website media monopoly let's keep moving on let's show you guys some more cool stuff okay guys so the last one was pretty simple just adding the glow and the flicker on there let me show you guys some stuff you can do with the actual freeze frame itself moving around some keyframes have it move around slide around add some keyframes so let me show you how we can get it to slide into position or grow into position so this this is pretty simple just take the freeze frame that you do have we're going to click on it and then we're going to do everything within our effect controls in this kind of motion tab right here so what we can do is just drag to the very end where it's about to snap into the next scene and we can just keyframe the position and the scale just like that and once you click these little stopwatches here you can just take those keyframes drag them to the drag them to the end just like that and then we can go to the beginning of this clip and we can move this around however we want and the reason why we keyframed at the end is because at the end of this we want it to return to its original position so let's go ahead and make some adjustments and you guys are going to see that it changes wherever we put it it's going to change at the end of this clip back to where it normally was so just like that you can move any of these settings and with that keyframe it's always going to pop back in a place like that so go ahead and experiment with another thing you guys could do is you can play with the scale a little bit so let's say we want the scale to be a little bit smaller let's say we make it smaller like that and we'll just kind of drop it down like that let's play that out grows bigger grows into place just like that and of course like i said before you guys could always play with how long you want these to play out one of the coolest thing about this is there's so much customization you have with this so something like that guys pretty cool just grows in let's create some more crazy stuff going on in the scene that's going to spice this up a little bit more so let's hold down alt and let's just duplicate this two more times so now we have three freeze frame duplications all in the same exact spot just like that i go to the very end and i'm just going to keyframe position and scale on my second duplication let's drag those keyframes just to the end like that now let's go to the beginning a little bit and let's just move this over a tiny bit so it looks like they're kind of like stacked up cards something like that and then let's go to the top one and we're going to do the same thing so let's go to the end let's keyframe drag those keyframes to the end drag to the very beginning and then we're going to drag this one over even more just like this so now what we have guys is we have three duplications all popping in like that and they're all going to sync back into normal close together and then start the next transition so some really cool stuff if you guys want you could flip this do the opposite you could have it kind of going out and then maybe back in so many different things you can do with this with just keyframing these duplications you guys could even add different effects onto each one for example so let's just drag some effects from my effects packs and like i said we can have some different stuff going on in each of these different clones so we can really customize 
optimize this to our full ability. You can honestly do anything with, guy with this, guys. Like I said, that one actually turned out pretty cool. So that's just using some of the effects from the creator preset bundle. Like I said, the brand new one that comes with the LUTs. Now here's another simple trick you guys can do to add onto this just within Premiere. And this is having them kind of pop in one after the other. So what we're gonna do guys is we're going to rearrange these duplications so they kind of look like cell phone service bars. So just drag one of these back and then drag one of these back, kind of make it so that it goes one, then the second, then the third, just like that. And it's gonna pop in. You can change around the durations if you want. You guys can even right click these edges, add a little cross dissolve. So just right click, add default transitions. And that way they're just kind of fading in like that. So that's kind of cool. Add all the effects in, you can change. Like I said, you can have them slide in, you can have them pop in one. This is really effect that you guys can place your own creative little individual touch onto. So that's something that I think is really interesting. Now, let me show you guys some bonus little tips. And what we're gonna do is we're going to hop into After Effects and we're gonna completely add some crazy stuff onto this. So we're gonna set it up the same as if we were gonna do it in Premiere. So let's go to the beginning of our transition one frame to the right so one click to on your right arrow Control k and then just alt drag that frame up just like that and then we can right click it and then we can click add frame hold drag it out just like how we've been doing now what we're going to do is instead of masking it out here we're going to do the masking within after effects because it's a lot easier to do it within after effects highly recommend that you guys do do this especially if you're working on a huge project and your computer's being slowed down sometimes the cropping within premiere will be super slow and super laggy so what we can do is just right click this and then click replace with after effects composition and here is our clip now you're going to see it's in normal speed this frame isn't there so we're going to have to redo that so just go to the part where the transition happens so right there and we're just going to right click on the clip and then just go to time and then we're going to click freeze frame just like that all right so now we're set we have the freeze frame back to normal so make sure you guys do remember that tip it's super important we're going to do the same exact thing we're just going to add the masking so let's click this pen tool and like i said it's way easier to mask with an after effects so i recommend that you do Okay guys, so we got him all masked out with an After Effects. Let's, con let's connect that like that and make sure that your mask is on add. So just M, make sure it's on add like that. So we're good to go. We can scroll here and it's exactly the same. Now, if you wanna just do the masking with an After Effects, you can just click file, save. And if you are using that dynamic link like how I am, you can just hop back in here and you guys are gonna see it's exactly the same. We have the same freeze frame, just masked within After Effects. You guys can do the same thing with adding that feather. So let's click M to show the mask, bump up that feather a little bit, something like that. You guys can also drop down the mask expansion. If you don't want the mask there, just click this little button here and it'll not show it. So that's a little bit easier just to do that. All right, so we got a nice freeze frame going on here. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is really awesome, guys. So we have a normal freeze frame, except we did it within After Effects. Now, let me show you guys some awesome stuff you can stack on top of here that you can only do within After Effects. So let's add some line effects onto this. Now, this is something that's super unconventional. This is something that I've just been doing recently because I thought it was pretty cool. What you guys can do here is just double click on here until you're in a layer just like this and you can draw line effects now if you guys haven't seen my line effects video link down in the description it's a really cool one really awesome go-to effect which you guys can do once you're in this layer right here so just double click on here until it says layer not composition once you're in the layer you can click on this little paintbrush tool up here it's gonna pop up these little windows here so you have your paint window and your brush window you can go ahead and select a brush tool that you would like to use select a color that you would like to use so also another thing that's super important that you guys are going to want to know right here in the paint window change the duration from constant to single probably the most common comment that i see on that video a lot of people get mixed up because they don't change the duration from constant to single so make sure it's single frame and then let's just draw on this freeze frame so draw anything you want usually i just kind of make the eyes like that you can completely draw the face you can completely trace the face once you've done that click page down on your keyboard just to move one frame and we can just keep making little animations and these animations are going to stay on our freeze frame so it's a really cool little trick guys like i said so keep drawing and then once you finish the drawing click page down just to move one frame repeat that process over and over and you guys are gonna get something really cool going on here. Let's go ahead and click file save and then let's hop back into Premiere over here. So we got this awesome animation going on here. Just click it, click sequence render selection just so we can see what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty cool. It's just something you can add on here. Now you can combine in the methods I showed you with the sliding stuff. You can come, you can add in the glowing that I was talking about. You can add in the flickering, combine everything that I talked about if you want into one crazy. Let me just show you what you can accomplish if you just combine all these together. So let's duplicate these. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next. Like I said, if you guys are interested, if you want to up your game, if you want to pick up some new effects, check out my website. We have the business essentials, which is really going to help you 
if you guys are determined on making a career from the internet or for doing creative work in general check that out business essentials pack business essentials pack deluxe also has the creator gold preset pack included free which gives you all those presets that i was talking about in this video as well as five awesome luts which you guys can experiment with definitely going to help you if you do want to make money from this if you do love this if this is your passion if you do enjoy creating this stuff whether it's for fun whether it's for your job thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys later